Jesus! Babe, it's natural to sleep talk, but I am tired of your sleep brain. What, what do you mean? Twice, you woke up in the middle of the night, paced up and down, and started shaking, and then you came back to bed. What's the problem? I don't have any problem, people. Mm -hmm. And then the alarm rang. Immediately, you sprang up and started shaking your head like a gamal is at. I'm concerned. Is that how they say good morning in your village? <sighs> what time did you sleep last night? 3 a.m. Why? Vigil. Abi? It's none of your business. Bemi. Bemi, Bemi. Ah, I've told you times without number. This was band issue. It should not be a point of concern. No. Your husband is going to come at the right time. Favor, and I've told you. I've told you that God told me to. You will start interceding for your husband. Exactly. I know. Hey, well, eh? Sure. Intercessor. Thank you. Well, ma. Hmm. See, faith without works is dead. You cannot sit in your shell and be praying and expect your husband to just walk in. See, you have to come out of your shell, baby girl. You have to be proactive. Stop running away from men. Eh? Men are not dangerous, so. Ha! Counselor, come and be going to your husband's house. See, I'm sure that whoever my husband is, he's also praying for me. Hmm? <laughs> eh? Don't be too sure. Ha! What if he is praying for something entirely different? <laughs> like what? This mountain is mine. I decree this mountain is mine. I claim it. 12 yaşında bir insanın canını almış olabilirsin. Hayat seni ummadığın bir yere sürüklemiş olabilir. The Bible says anything I ask in your name that you shall do on the horse. I claim this mountain, this mountain is mine, this mountain is mine, it's mine, it's mine. Bu benim kabulümdü. Ama sen oradan çıkmak istedin mi hiç? Denedin mi o karanlıktan çıkmayı? Uğraştın mı bunun için? İtiraf etsene kendine. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! In the name of Jesus! It's mine! It's mine! Hello, mine! How are you? John, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm okay. Baby, I've been calling you since morning and you've not picked up. Why? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I was having my morning devotion. It's 1 p.m. Huh? 1 p.m.? Oh, I've been praying since 6 a.m. I'm sorry. What are you even praying about? Our ministry. The assignment the Lord gave to us. You know Caleb in the Bible, he claimed the mountain when it was very hot. I don't want to wait 
until I'm old. Before I claim this mountain, I want the mountain now. This mountain is mine. It's mine. Okay, I'll be praying for you. Oh, thank you. What are you doing? Mm. I'm watching my favorite Telemundo TV series, Red Roses. Do you know that Roberto and Juliana are finally getting married? Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Hope they have gone to the marriage committee for further counseling. What? Yes, so advise them to do that. Because that is the only condition they are going to allow them to conduct their wedding in this church. I'm confused. What is the problem? Roberto and Juliana, they are the central characters of a TV series. Uh, oh. Who do you think they were? I I thought they were members of a church. John, you promised me you would watch this now. How many episodes have you watched? <sighs> Sister Debbie, to, to be honest with you, I've been quite busy. So busy that you don't have time to honor my request. It's so sad. A whole season passed and you couldn't even watch one episode. The most annoying part is that you're going to miss the wedding of Roberto and Juliana. Debbie, okay, when you see them, let me apologize to them. The, the fact is, there are more important things to deal with. So I'm not important. You are. Roberto is not important. Debbie. Juliana is not important. Everyone is important to the Lord. You think I'm childish. You think I'm disturbing you. If you can't honor simple requests like this, how will you honor the main ones when we get married? Pepe, remember we have assignments. Remember we have commitment. We both decided we are going to read the Bible from back to back this year. Of which I'm lagging behind. Even the vision for the teenage girls has been dormant. And you have an important part to play. If all these assignments are not executed, there's no way we have time to attend the wedding of Emboda Robato and Sister Juliana. Eh? It's okay. Those things are much more important than these childish movies I'm forcing you to watch. It's obvious you pay little or no priority to the things we share together. Debbie, don't talk like that. I think I need to find my place and stick there. Your place is right here with me. Then why do you keep talking like I'm carnally minded, like I'm a non-believer? Debbie, I have never implied that. I need to understand that the lives of Roberto and Juliana is much more than a story. It's something I need us to key into. Their journey signifies hope in God and faith in love. Okay. Debbie, I promise I'm going to watch that movie with you at a much later time. It's okay, John. I forgive you. Ah, oh, thank you very much. You know what, Debbie? As I was praying this morning, the Holy Spirit impressed on my heart some wonderful prayer points. I'm listening. That we need to pray about. So you know what you do for me? Take your Bible and your diary and write this prayer point. The very important we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break into my breakthroughs. I storm into my progress. Hey, I shall arise and I shall be called blessed. Forces of darkness trying to hinder our vision. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Are you writing it? Make sure you're writing. Die by fire. Die by fire. Forces of darkness against our vision. Die by fire. As you're checking your time, or do you have any other means of transportation that I don't know of, aside your car? I know. Don't know about the jet yesterday. Let me hear what I beg. You look good, by the way. Duh. I always do. <laughs> How come you're heading to work at 2 p.m.? Today's supposed to be my day off for my sister, but... I got a call from work that I have to be there today, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. Eh, hey, please, please. Put me back. Ha! You are just a proud somebody, you, eh? Thank you. Let's just be going, please, before... Mm -hmm. Ah! She did not give me perfume, me. Eh, hey, did you ask? Or oh, you think I don't know it's the day I went out? I think I'll let her have peace. Too powerful. It's not your fault. Huh. Oh, ah, bring it, bring, finish it. Yeah, finish it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
I like this sorry touch. Oh, I like it too. Thank you. Don't you think it will look good on me? Like my skin tone? The maxi dress you get today is enough for this visit. See, when you come next time, I'll think of something else to give you, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's how it is now, Abby. You are using all these things as an incentive for me to visit you, Abby. I didn't even say that way, but you know that that too should work. Yeah, that that's true. I know you like stuff, so I'll find something for you next time. It's okay. There is God. There is God, my sister. Yep, there, is. there is God. Continue. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm so sorry. You know, I've been praying on the assignment that God gave to me for the students. And by the grace of God, I, I figured out a name, Ray of Hope Foundations. That sounds good. So I drew out the outline for the assignments and I want you to be the main speaker for the first edition because I know you'll be able to connect with the students easily. I will only connect with what I have passion for easily. What do you mean? It's your passion, not mine. But we're in this together. No doubt, we are. I'm with you behind the scenes. So don't put me on the center stage, okay? Okay. Thank you. My mom called yesterday. How is she? She's fine. She can't wait to see you. They are getting things set for the introduction. I have missed her. How about your parents? What about them? Are they getting ready? Are we getting ready? Oh, yes, we are. I'm not just talking about the family introduction. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about life after the wedding. Do we have enough to sustain us? We have more than enough. Really? We have God. Take God away from the equation. God is the central part of this equation. We can't remove him. He is the foundation with which we are laying this marriage upon. There we go again. What? Talking to me like I'm a non-believer. You are not a non-believer. Then let's communicate on the same frequency. Which other frequency have we been communicating? Maybe the problem is with me. Why are you always like this? Any little talk, you get emotional. Maybe my salvation isn't based on the same foundation you laid yours on. I think I need to work on my foundation as a Christian. Okay, Debbie, you know, um, I was wrong. I admit, I was too judgmental. Please forgive me. It's okay. <coughs> You're forgiving. So, baby, please, I want to understand your own point of view. What do you mean we are not ready? What is holding you? Can't hold both of us. The vision is enough for both of us. Leave the vision aside and let's face reality. The vision is my reality. Look at this place. Yeah? Where are we? We're in church. What are we doing here? What do they do in church? <laughs> Maybe you should consider dividing the place. We can use the pulpit as the bedroom, the backstage as the kitchen, and the hall for the living room. Of course, say, why are you talking like this, Debbie? I, I, I told you I'm planning on getting a house. Getting a house is a reality. Getting a sustainable pay is a reality. So how realistic is your vision? How do you want me to answer this question? What is your monthly take-home pay? 50,000 Naira. <laughs> 50,000 Naira is not enough to sustain a family. It's just for now, Debbie. Don't you believe God can upgrade me? Aside the fact, you will also work to, by the time we pull resources together, it will take us far. I'm not ready to go far with what you're driving with. But are you ready to go far with what is driving me? If it can drive us both comfortably, I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm actually working on getting a better job. They will call me next week for an interview. How much is the pay? A hundred and 50,000 Naira. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to make it a surprise. Ah, my dear, I'm going to pray about this. The job is yours. Amen. I'm so proud of you. We're going to do this. <laughs> really? Yes. Your words keep encouraging me. <laughs> I'm going to pray about this. Okay. <laughs> Yes, don't run away. Come, come, come. Turn around slowly, slowly. Oh, thank you. Come, come, come. 
Oh my god, come on, come on, say hi to our friend. Okay, so Benga meets Bami, your neighbor. And Bami meets Benga, your neighbor. Hello, Bami. Hi. Nice meeting you. So I understand he's been here for like three months and for some reasons you guys have been playing hide and seek. She's a pro in the game. I've been sick him, but she's been hiding. I'm so thankful I won today. Thanks to me. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> I have always wanted to say hi, but she's not available. Oh my gosh, she is available, sir. Really? Very available. Yes, sir. Wow, that's so nice. I have to leave now. Nice meeting you again. Nice meeting you once again, but I look forward to knowing more than just your name. He looks forward to knowing more than just your name. Yeah. yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you, favor. All right. Why will you call to that guy? Why did you tell him I am available? But you are an available vessel now. No, I'm not. I'm busy. Hey. <laughs> so you're telling me you're not looking for husband? No, I'm not. They are looking for me. <laughs> Uh, now so, so all the sleep praying and vigil is for what? God told me to intercede and I'm interceding. I'm simply obeying instructions. See, what is your unwelcoming attitude? I wonder how you intend to get a man in your life. Who says I need a man in my life? My life is fine the way it is. Thank you. Stop talking like that. I'm not asking you to jump onto the next available dude that walks into your life. But we both know you are not getting any younger. And even my husband, he has tried introducing you to some of his friends. But as usual, you are not interested. So, but the fact that things are fine between you and Emmanuel does not mean that is the path everyone is meant to take. You know what? I just pray that you snap out of whatever is wrong with there you. There is nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Fine! Fine! You see your uncle? Why are you pressing on? Bros, come and be going now. How are you? <laughs> Favo, I know you do all this because you care and I really appreciate it. It's just that I don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay, no problem. I would not bring it up again. No, so that guy is too forward. What is the meaning of I'm looking forward to knowing more than just your name? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, thanks for the visit. I'm really grateful. Yeah, you are lucky my husband traveled. <laughs> I hope he travels more often. Awful. <laughs> Towards that one. Hey, see this is the boy. Hello, mommy. Baby. Bawuni. Moa, all right. How are you? I'm fine. There's someone here I want you to speak with. Who is that? Just order. Hello? Hello. Who's on the line? I am on the line. Sorry, who's on the line? I said I am on the line. I know you are not aware, but you keep crossing the line in my mind, times without number. Many times I wonder when this invisible line will bring me close to you. The answer is simple. It is because the line has been drawn, drawn by nature, drawn by distance, drawn by circumstances of life, my lady, my dear. So let us erase, let us eliminate this line once and for all. I mean forever, face to face, without barrier. Now, to answer your question, it is I, Kunle Alfred. I am on the line. Thank you. Baby, what was that? Did you enjoy that uh, spoken word? Sorry, ma. Spoken word. I'm, I'm confused. That is Kunle Alfred. Your childhood friend. Remember, you grew up together in the same neighborhood. What did he just do? Is he to hold this spoken phone? Speaker what? Sorry ma, spoken word. I mean spoken word. You see, I met him today on campus after my lecture. He's currently doing his PhD. He's such a sound young man. Why are you not advertising him to me, mommy? I'm not advertising him to you, my dear. I just want both of you to reconnect. You have so many things in common. 
See, he's going to give you another presentation. Just hold on. Now, render the presentation you made on campus. The power of love. Okay, okay. Okay, okay now. Love. If love is blind, then how can I see? If love is deaf, how can I hear? If love is dumb, how can I see? Are you asking me to keep the question? Hello? Come in. Miss Johnson, how are you? Very fine, thank you, sir. All right, please. Clear my schedule for next week and um, book me a flight to South Africa. Okay, sir. I have a meeting with an energy company. There's a possible deal brewing. Okay, I'll do that right away, sir. And uh, one more thing, please make the booking for two. Oh, okay. Will Mr. Bamidele be joining you, you, sir? No, but you will be joining me. Sorry? Is there any problem? No, no, no, no, sir. Good. You may leave. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Baby. Baby, what have you done? Hi, Mr. Gwenga. Oh, it's simply Gwenga. Oh, okay. It's so fantastic seeing you twice in one day. <laughs> but how was your day? It was tiring. Though. Do you care to share? No, it's not necessary. Oh, okay. Do you have dinner? Yeah, yeah, I do. Because I'm just about to fix something so that we can just share. It's not necessary. Or better still, I can bring it to your place. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. All right. Enjoy you. the rest of your evening. Hello. Bye, my dear. All Hello, mommy. I called several times. You didn't pick up. Because I didn't want to have anything to do with that friend of yours. Keep quiet. If you don't introduce someone to me, I will introduce you to someone. Was that why you got the town car to make noise by the phone? What was that rubbish you were saying, mommy? It's not rubbish. It's a spoken word she's uh, is doing. <laughs> spoken word, you mean? Oh, whatever. That young man is a celebrity in the campus. Let him keep his celebrations himself and not bring it close to me, please. Bimi. Bimi. Bimi Sola. How many times did I call you? The Reverend of our church told me that you must marry this year. Otherwise, it will be too late for you. Who is it that said it and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded and authorized it? Shut up your mouth. Uti Bajeju, you are spoiled. A man of God is giving you instruction, divine instruction, and you are questioning him. The man of God said this year is the window of grace God is giving you. This year or never. No, mommy. It is God's time or never. I will marry when God says I will marry. And if God does not give me a husband, I will not receive one from anyone, not even you. <laughs> but do you realize I'm doing all this thing because I love you? I do realize you are doing all this because you are anxious. Now, your younger sister is getting married this year. I'm not forcing you to get married. I'm only asking you to introduce someone to me. Time is going. Mommy, God's wrist is too big for man's watch. So keep your wristwatch and stop looking at the time. God makes all things beautiful in his own time. Hmm. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. 
And I rebuked you in Jesus' name. Does this loss represent? She's the church. The church? Yeah. My church, the Lord is leading me to leave the church because the church has become a distraction just as Lot was to Abraham. Hey, and the Lord is leading me to go into full-time ministry. Okay, I can understand you wanting to leave the church. I have no issue with that actually. But God telling you to go into full-time, what does that mean exactly? Debbie, you should understand. As in, going to serve the Lord full-time in ministry. Ah, what's going to happen to your job? Especially the 150,000 Naira salary we're pursuing. Debbie, I, I resigned. You did what? I, I, I resigned. Like, they called me and I told him I was not interested. Even the 150,000 Naira job, I told him I was not interested. They called you? Y yes, they did. They offered you the job? They offered me the job. And you said that? Yes. We need money to run a home. We, we need God to run a home. The Lord will sustain us. Plus, we'll be working and doing some other things while I face the ministry full time. Oh, so you plan on banking on my income? Debbie, not that. And then, if, if, I go to back on God actually, if God needs your income, then so be it. John! Debbie, what is it? Can two work together except they agree? No, they can't. Then we can't work together. How do you mean? We are done! Don't, don't, don't with what? With what actually? Done with us! I don't, I don't understand. We are in a different frequency. We can't work. Debbie, our introduction is next week. A broken introduction is better than a broken marriage. Ha! Debbie! My, my, my mom has been calling. She calls every night. She can't wait to see you. Debbie, she calls you her daughter. I have a mother. So she's definitely not my mother. So tell her that I'm sorry, but her mind is made up. It's over. Debbie, that's too harsh. Hello, Fando Oil. I would love to confirm my appointment with the managing director of Fando Oil. Please who's on the line? My name is Benga Folorosho. Alright, um, give me a minute, I'll get back to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <Is that> actually funny. <laughs> Get out! Hey, please now. You are just... Don't go. 
Fuck this street girl. I'm going to meet you by 2 p.m. Mr. Agboy, you follow me, sir. Let him in once he's around. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. For some time now, I've been observing you. You've not touched your food. What no problem? My fiance broke up. Oh. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. That must that must be a very painful thing, sir. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not you. I, I tell you. That's not you. <laughs> it's not beyond what God can handle. As in, there are other things to deal with than to, than, than, than to waste my tear on, on a sister. My redeemer lives. God does not forsake me. He still loves me. God loves me. I, I know. I know. But I know. I, I will not waste a single tear. A single tear on a sister. No, I won't. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Why have thou forsaken me? Why? Why have thou forsaken me? I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand this anymore. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I'm broken, Lord. I'm broken. I'm in pain. seen brother John cry like this before. But I like what I'm saying. I like what I'm saying. What? You like what you're saying? Like yes. This guy's crying. Of course. Huh. Anything that will make brother John cry must be the passion for souls, the zeal for God's kingdom, and the state of the church. Brother John, hit us with the revelation. We want to share your tears. Sister Debbie dumped me. Sister Debbie dumped me. <laughs> I, I, I, I don't understand. We have been cutting for two years. She dumped me this morning. She called it quit friends. 
Oh. I'm in bed. <laughs> it's well, brother John. It's well, my brother. We had dreams. Mm. We had visions. We had commitments. But she threw everything in the trash. She walked out of me. But, bro John, bro John, eh? the Lord is your strength. Mm. This is well. Mm. But, John, you have to be strong. You have to move on. Eh? Where am I moving to? Eh? Where? I'm not too You just have yet. to be strong. See, do you know how many times I heard no when I was single? Many sisters said no to me. I heard no to the point that sisters in the church started calling me brother Noah. Did you hear that? Did you hear his testimony? Is that a testimony? Is that a testimony? You, you, you don't know what I'm passing through at this time. You don't. Bro John, bro John, shake it off. Come on, shake it off. Be a man. <laughs> How will I tell my mom? Our introduction is to be next week. How will I cope? Bro John, you will cope. Sir, you will cope. See, when God closes the wrong door, the next course of action is to look for the right one. Take, take, sir. Clear your tears. <laughs> How am I going to cope? Eh? Relationship of two years flushed down the drain. Just like that? Oh. <laughs> The way our paths keep crossing these days, it's somewhat divine. I have a meeting with the MD by 2 p.m. 2? So, are you Mr. Father and Shaw? Yes, ma'am. And I guess you must be the MD secretary I spoke with a few hours ago. I'm his peer, actually. All along, it was you. No wonder I had a good vibe on the call. <laughs> I don't know anything about any vibe. I was just doing my job. Ah, it's a small world. I could bet you were stalking me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Sola, you know we need to hang out and get to talk one of these days. The problem is I'm always busy. And the problem is that you're always doing hide and seek. I'll give you an answer later. Let's focus on why you're here. Let me call the MD. Hello, sir. Mr. Follow Asha is here. Okay. Please follow me. Miss Baby Sola. Hanging out with you is more important than the meeting with your MD. Please give me an answer. He's waiting for you. And I'm waiting for you. Mr. Benga. Miss Baby Sola. See, before the drink, he's calling again. And I won't leave until you give an answer. Don't worry, we'll work something out. Let, just, let's go. When? Uh, today, today. What time? After the meeting. Promise? I promise. Hello. Ah, hello, Brad John. Hello, Pastor. How are you? I am not fine. What's happening? What's the matter? I think I have... I think I have malaria. Malaria? Ah. I don't even know what it is. I heard your fiancé left you. Ah, pastor. It is Sister Debbie. Sister Debbie. It is this relationship. She dumped me. She, she called it quits. Is that why you are feeling feeling sick or feeling horrible? It, it probably triggered it. See me in my house tomorrow, right? Okay, sir.
Bemi Bemi Please, I need you I know it may be so hard to set my eyes on you again but I need to hear your voice please let me hear your voice please I just finished cooking the kitchen. Oh, wow, nice. I, I brought this drink for us to push down the food. Wow, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow, your house is so beautiful. Thank you know, I could have sworn that either a woman lives here or a female interior decorator did this. Well, truthfully, a female interior decorator put this. I said it. I said I just knew. But do you actually mean that a guy can't actually do this? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that... Um, she did it well. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, to the business of the evening, please come along. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your apron. It looks so girly. <laughs> really. Actually, my sister got it for me. She's oh. always putting me on pressure, just like my mom. Big bro, settle down, get married. Ah, trust me, I know what that feeling is like. Well, let's bless the food. Right. Father, we thank you for the provision of this food. And we thank you for the gift of this fellowship. Bless us and sanctify this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, bless it. Sure. Wow, this looks good and it smells appetizing. Well, this is what you'll be missing playing hide and seek. <laughs> So what church do you attend? I attend Golden Gate Baptist Church and I'm the Chief Protocol Officer. That's really nice. And how was your day? Uh, it was uh, okay, I guess. You don't want to talk about it? I don't know. Share with me. Talk to me. Feel free. I'm just concerned. About, about what? Yeah, I'm concerned about work. What about it? Don't you like the pay? The pay is perfect. It's my boss. What about him? He wants me to follow him alone on an official trip to South Africa. And what's wrong with that? Everyone in my place of work knows that is a dead trap. Oh, really? Yes, he knows how to pull women down the bed of immorality, even Christians. Then, tell him no. It's ten no. Then I'll lose my job. Ah. There are no jobs out there, everyone knows it. No one confronts him, so we all have to place his tune. Wait, Mr. Lord Johnson. Yes. Relax, okay? Take a deep breath. All will be well. Amen. Please. Which one do you want? The orange juice, the peach, or the wine? I think you prefer the wine. <laughs> Any orange juice. I guess I'll pop the wine. <laughs> Baby. Hi. 
Ah, Mega, thank you so much for dinner. Wow. <laughs> I guess you enjoyed the meal. Of course, of course. Unfortunately, I have to go now to get ready for work tomorrow. Wow, why are you so in a hurry? I want to share a short story with you. Okay. I come from a very humble background. My father used to be a local farmer and my mom used to sell food at the general market on Thursdays. Okay. When I was 10 years old, I tasted ice cream for the very first time. Are you serious? It was even a friend's ice cream. When I tasted my friend's ice cream, I ran to my dad with so much excitement that I wanted more ice cream. Little did I know that that one cup of ice cream was my father's earning for one week. But he promised that he would still get me ice cream. And guess what my father did? What? He bought pap and mixed it with a whole lot of milk, added sugar to it, and he kept it in a neighbor's fridge because we couldn't afford one. When I got back from school, he gave the ice cream to me. I opened it exactly and I took the ice cream. But on tasting the ice cream, I was confused. Because the taste of this creative ice cream and the original ice cream was so different. But Demi, do you understand the moral of this story? What, what, what is it? When you don't have what you want, you make do with what you have. Hmm, true, true. Very true. Be me so Be me so Chance. I don't have a perfect ring. But will you take this imperfect ring as a sign and a token of my love for you? Mimi, will you marry me? Oh my god, I'm happy for you, Mimi. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I could feel compassion in his voice. I'm so overwhelmed right now. I can't believe the guy you were running away from actually proposed to you. I know, I know, right? <laughs> It's a perfect love story. Oh, I'm wiping tears from my eyes right now. I really wish you had the scene. You get to see how we made a ring out of copper wire. It was so creative. It was beauty and imperfection. Ha! Have you given him an answer? No, I have not though. Why now? In as much as everything in me wants to say yes, I need to hear what God has to say, you know? Well, that's important. But I'm so happy for you! Wait till I give my an answer first now. What? Tell him yes. Tell him yes, Joe. Say yes, say yes. God is still silent. I don't know why. Uh, don't worry. I trust God. Is it not Baba G? Uh, he likes suspense. This suspense is killing me, Joe. I'm so happy to be a big part of your love story. I don't love us yet. Favor, let me call back. When guys calling me? Hey, is already calling you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey, Papa Girl. Quick with you. Alright, I'm gone. Bye. Hello? Okay, uh, that's fine. No problem. Yes, yes, that's fine. Alright, bye. What's your problem? Are you not rejecting my orange? Is it the malaria, typhoid, or loss of appetite? I do it too, sir. I understand the feeling. I understand how it feels to be dumped at the temporary site. <laughs> when the lady who dumped you has moved her ministry to a permanent site. That's true. Don't talk like that. If you go to shop right now, she's probably shopping with Mr. Wright. No. I know. What do you mean, no? If you are heading to the right room and you have the wrong key, you're only wasting your time. You can fast and pray, but you cannot force a wrong key to open the right door. The best thing to do is to change the key so that you can have access to your room of vision and destiny. God, in His mercy, 
took away the wrong key away from you. But you are now crying like a child deprived of sweet. Ah, why is everybody mean to me? Why? Listen, do your hands like this. Go, go, on, do it. That's what you are doing. That is you. If you do not let go of the past, you cannot have the future. If you don't let go of the old, you cannot have the new. Just like Abraham, if you hold tightly to Lot, you cannot get the promise. You have to let Lot go. Right down with your vision and ministry, right John. Inside your vision and ministry and purpose lies your partner, not outside. Miss Ola Johnson, when are you giving me my answer? I haven't gotten a reply from my father. They're not easy. Give me his phone number. I'll call him. I will convince him on how much I love you. I don't mean my earthly father. Oh, you mean? Exactly. Wow, that makes it easier. Okay. I'll just go into a set of fasting and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> and if marathon is needed, I'm cool with 14 days, 21 days. <laughs> Speaking about fathers, where's your dad? He's in the hospital. Oh, is he a medical practitioner? No. He has a terminal disease. Wow, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be. He's suffering from the consequences of his actions. Consequences of his actions? What do you mean? You know, I love what you said about your dad. How he makes beautiful things out of nothing. My father was the direct opposite. I was only eight years old. What happened when you were eight years old? Benga, I haven't told anybody this before. <laughs> I was only eight years old when my father... My father raped me. Wow. You are... Oh. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. He went out regularly to the bear parlor with his friends. <laughs> he got back wasted and drunk and then he'll beat my mom he'll beat her so much there was nothing she did that he appreciated now he's lying he's lying helplessly and he says he wants me back he wants you back for what precisely he wants to tell me that he's sorry baby <laughs> pull yourself together you've gone through a lot I grew to hate men with passion. I didn't see a need for a man in my life until... Until what? Until our paths crossed. Baby, I promise to be a loving husband. A caring father. More than your dad. <laughs> Just give me a chance. I want to build a future with you, baby. <laughs> I want us to live a very good life together, baby. I love you. Pull yourself together, okay? Pull yourself together. Thank you. I love you. <sighs> Hello, mommy. Baby, Sola. How are you? I'm fine, mommy. What's up? Did you hear about your sick father in the hospital? I heard. I don't want to talk about this. Huh. Try and see him. If you can, 
I hear you. But what is going on? I've been trying your numbers. You refuse to pick my call. Why? Yeah, I went out with a friend. Which of your friend? You don't know him. So. A him? Yeah, a him. Hello? Am I there? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The lover of my soul. Alpha Omega. You are worthy to be praised. Mommy, calm down. In all generation, there is no one like my father. Mom, please wait, let me explain now. You cannot explain. I'm listening. It's not worth the celebration. This is what happened. He proposed to me, but I... Say that again. Mom, he proposed to me, but... He proposed? Moje Baba Lopwe Moje Baba Lopwe Igbati Moro Ishe Iyanu Baba Layemi Mo Ipe Moje Jesu Mi Lopwe Rekwete Mommy! Ah! Who? Have you calmed down now? I am calm. Speak up. I'm listening. I've been praying about it, but God has not given me an answer yet. Ah! Hey! If he answered. Mommy, mommy, listen now. Mommy, calm down. Ah. That Lord that answered by fire. Hello, my mommy. God, that Hello. Lord that Mom, what are you doing? Are you, are, you rolling on the, are you rolling on the floor? You will answer. That Lord that answered by fire. Oh, he will be my God. That Lord that answered. This one will answer. Hey, he will be mommy. my God. That Lord that has hey, by fire. Mommy, I really Hello. Ah, baby. Favor. Ah, fire. What's up? Fine. Ah, so good to see you. So good to see you. <laughs> what brings you here? Mm. I came to just. You came all the way from your place of work to this place to get gist. Who mm. work up? I beg, give me gist. You cannot change. What is Baba God saying? Baba God saying about what? Come on, Joe. Tell me. Just be me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Just me. quickly. <sighs> Benga, that guy is everything I want in a man. In as much as everything in me wants to say yes, God is not giving me a go ahead. Wow. I'm worried. No, don't be worried. Come on, you can never be too patient. Hmm? No, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Well, there is this singles forum organized by Bro John in our church. Okay. And do you know him? Bro, no, no, not, not, not, I don't, I don't really know him. Okay, well, Bro John is the coordinator, and my husband and Kyle, they are his friends. They've been working on it for a while now. The first edition is holding today. What do you call it? Uh, what time? Six to eight, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll walk towards it. Are you sure? Okay. That's perfect. Are you serious? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But if it does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. And that's the Bible, that's the truth, the truth of the word of God. The question is, even if he does not deliver us, are we still going to serve him? In a world where we have compromising Christians, Will you still stand for God? Is God still your God? Hope you are not a bed and butter Christian. Hope you are not carrying about the plastic Christianity. Some Christians serve God because of what they have to gain. Can you stand before that corrupt boss in your place of work, just like Daniel, just like Joseph, and tell him, boss, I'm a child of God. I will not do this evil with you. You can take your job. I serve God, it will give me a better job. And if it does not give me a better job, I will honor him.
Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. I will not be going with you to South Africa. Excuse me? I said I will not be going with you to South Africa. And why is that? You have a beautiful wife and two lovely daughters. Yet you choose to dishonor your family by sleeping around. I beg you to change your ways because God is not happy with you. You may choose to dismiss me. If you fire me, God will hire me. And even if he doesn't give me a new job, I still choose to honor him. I have saved you the stress of writing a letter. Here is my letter of resignation. In case my services here are no longer needed. Thank you. Whatever substance or weed you took before coming to work this morning, I want it to my office first thing tomorrow morning. It must be some high quality stuff. And cancel your trip to South Africa. A male companion will be a better option. Um, I'm looking for going a follower on show. I'm so sorry. You must be his sister. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Good evening, Ma. There's no one bearing being a follower on show in this house. My husband's name is Felix. Felix follower on show. And I am Mrs. Jumoke, follower on show. Nigeria and you left me and your son in the UK? Come on. Come on, we've been through this over and over and over again. I never knew you have not stopped. No wonder the text messages, the videos, all, all, the, all the things I'm getting on my phone. Now I've seen your model. I've seen her. She's so beautiful. Y you know what? You can just have all the fun you want to have. I'm going back to the UK with your son. I thought you had stopped, but I never knew you were such an incredible flirt. And then please do me a favor. Please sign your divorce papers. Bastard.
Bimi, where are you? I'm fine. I just called to check on you. Thank you. So, how's your husband to be, Binga? <laughs> what is going on? His name is not even Binga. It's Felix. He's not mine. And he will never be mine. <laughs> Why do you say that? Mommy is mine with a soul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 and 15 For if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you But if you forgive not men their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses Be me rise How do you forgive a man who molested an eight-year-old girl? How do you forgive a man who led you on and shattered your trust? Some sins cannot be forgiven. Some people are meant to burn in hell. Baby, when you hold tight to the pains of the past, then it will be difficult for you to receive God's new gifts. Release whatever you are holding on to so that you can claim the promises of the Father. Look, Bimi, how are you? Please, who's on the line? This is John. This is John. Meet John, please. The Singles Forum Coordinator. Wait, wait, wait. How come? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I got a number from Sister Fever. She's a wife to my close friend, Emmanuel. Okay. Yeah, straight to the point, I've been having a vision uh, for teenagers. It's called the Ray of Oak Foundations. We're going to be having our first edition on the... 22nd of June. I've been praying as to who will be the speaker at the program. And for some strange reasons, you have been coming to my mind. How do you know I can do this? I only attended the singles forum once. Yes, I know. And um, strangely too, this will be the first time I'm going to be communicating with you. But I'm persuaded. I'm sure that the Lord is leading me to invite you as a speaker in this program. Do you drive? I, yes, uh, yes I, I drive, but I don't have a car. Perfect. I need a driver to take me to Oshobo with my car. I can't drive that far. Okay. So let's make a deal. You drive me down to Oshobo, and I honor your invitation. <laughs> ah, Sister Bimi. Okay, okay. Deal accepted. 
great, thank you. I will text you the time and the venue. Yeah, okay. Bye. Ah, huh? I'm sorry. The whole habit I'm um, trying to get rid of. Old habits never die. This one will die. <laughs> this one will die. <laughs> so nice to see you. Same here, same here. You look great. Thank you. I have always wanted to tell you about my testimony from the singles forum. Really? Yeah, don't worry. I'll just say about it in the car. I can't <laughs> wait to hear that. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do in the shop, bro? I want to see my dad. Your dad? Okay. Let's go. Awesome. You are a prayer answering God. I've been praying that God will grant me my last wish before I die. What's that? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Baby, please forgive me. It's okay, Daddy. I'm very sorry. If I was strong enough, I should be on the floor now. Frustrating. Daddy, please. I, I, I deserve the pain I, I'm going through now. But you, you don't deserve the pain I've inflicted on you. Please, baby, me. forgive me. Daddy, I forgive you. Ah. I release you from my heart. I forgive you. Forgive you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Baby, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, thank you. Baby. Ah. Yes, Daddy. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm, thank God. God indeed answers prayers. Yes, He does. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Mm. It's a privilege to meet you, sir. Mm. Such a good looking and respectful young man. Uh, Baby. Yes, Daddy. Your mother taught you very well. Oh, no. We uh, are not. We are just. Doing. Thank you, sir. You have a pretty daughter, too. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I missing anything here? Oh. My name is Bimsala Grace Johnson. For a long time, I carried upon my neck the burden of anger, of hatred and of bitterness. It was so heavy. But Jesus says in his word in Matthew 11, 28, he says, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Many of you want to rest today, but you are still carrying upon your neck and your shoulders this burden that is too heavy. You need to lay it down. You need to let it down at the feet of Jesus. And so if you are here today, and you have been molested, you have been neglected, you have been oppressed. I want you to take this step of faith today. Can you rise on your feet 
and come to the feet of Jesus and lay this burden at his feet. Jesus is waiting for you. He loves you. He's able to heal. He's able to deliver. He's able to set you free. I'm standing today as a testimony because I laid my burden at the feet of Jesus. And I want you to do the same today. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. Just come to Jesus. Bimi, I really wish I could do more. But please help me manage this. It's perfect. After the lecture, after the talk, I was so famished. So this is an answer to prayers. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really wish to meet your man one day. Why? To let him know how lucky he is to have you. <laughs> uh, one day, yes. One day you'll meet him. By, where does he work? Mm, uh, he's a worker in God's vineyard. Worker in God's vineyard. Is he a member of a church? Oh. John, I do have a man in my life. <laughs> Bimi, you're quite funny, but you'll have told me that. So, when are you planning to get married? In God's time. What if God's time is now? Eh, so be it. What kind of man do you want? John, if I say I'm not tired of your questions, I will be lying. Ah! <laughs> I'm just asking, what kind of man do you ah, want? What kind of woman do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Bimi! You. Excuse me. Yes. You. Is is is this a, a proposal? You. I want to marry. I don't know what the sister say in me that any time I mention marriage, they flee. Daddy, is it, is it because of my dressing? Oh no, yeah, okay, okay. Then what made them flee from me? John, count it all joy when sisters flee away from you. Because the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh will not only run to you, she will run with you. I still need that prayer of deliverance. Okay, lay down, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. As your son has requested for this prayer of deliverance, Father, answer his prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray, if baby is your will, Father, convince her. Amen. If she's not the will, let her run far away from him in Jesus' name. Hey. <laughs> Let her run farther away in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and I also pray that you grant your son the bone of his bone. Amen. And the flesh of his flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brethren, she's not picking no. <sighs> Brother John, how did you propose? Yes, I. We were talking. Hand. Hand. Uh, uh, I asked her what kind of man she wanted, and she said some things actually. Um, yeah. What, what did you say? I've forgotten. But later on, she. She asked me what kind of woman I want. Very good now. What did you tell her? I said you. Aha. Excuse me. I don't understand. I said you. That's what I said. I said you. You did what? That was what I said. You. Ah, brother John, why are you doing like this? You didn't get on one knee. You didn't get her flowers. You didn't get her anything. You just went and proposed and expecting a reply. No, no, no, no, no, no. God in his mercies took time to create some people without emotions. Ah, ah. But I don't mean I mean oh ah, ah. I didn't I didn't just say you. <sighs> yeah, I didn't just say you. Oh okay, okay, okay. I said something else. Very good. Now, what was that thing you said? Yeah, I I said you. I want to marry. Sorry, ah. sorry. Who, who are you commanding? You want to marry, but John, that is worse. That is worse, sir. You don't that talk is like worse. that. That is worse. Ah, ah, ah, ah. 
May I ask, where was the location of this proposal? Yeah, in the classroom. Jesus is Lord. No. Jesus is Lord. No. My brother John, classroom. Brother John, you have broken the edge. Classroom? The foundation of this proposal is destroyed. What, what, what can the righteous do? What are we going to do? We? I don't like your pronoun. Brother John, you need hmm. to work on your pronoun. Hmm. Pronoun is very insulting. Brother John! First of all, you insulted an innocent sister by, by, by telling her, you, I want to marry. Who does that? I, who? I don't know. I don't know. Now it is we. We. Brother, can we enjoy hands together and pray? Brother, rise, rise. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray. Now, you will see after me. Father. Father. Father. Lada, please, Lada, please. Father, Father, whatever game me is, take away a peace and rest until she acknowledges. Bro John, bro John, eh, eh, eh, take care, easy. Bros, calm down, calm down, calm down. That's too harsh, too harsh. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I got carried away. Let me, let me change the prayer point. Please do. We are going to pray that just as God arrested Jonah and brought him to the center of his will, that God should arrest, cage, imprison her until she, she has come in to Jesus, the knowledge in Jesus of have prayed. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name I have prayed. So what do I do when God promises me something and I have not received it? That's the question. Uh, you must understand that the Bible says in the book of Psalm, chapter 27 verse 14 it says wait on the lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart and emphasized it again and said it says wait i say on the lord we must understand that god is never too late and is never too early as christians we must understand too that he makes everything beautiful in his own time yes sir we have a waiting room mm -hmm. and this waiting room is a room we cannot avoid mm -hmm. I'm, I'm currently in that waiting room <laughs> and i've been there for three weeks wow <laughs> it has not been easy i was so tensed i was so disappointed so unsettled um, but um, god has affirmed that uh, Things are going to get beautiful. Wow. That the answer will come. Mm -hmm. So I decided to relax mm -hmm. and, and then watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, he, he, the fact is this you must understand that um, in the waiting room of the Lord, there's a TV there. Oh, Let TV. Let TV. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anytime you meet yourself in that room, relax. God is going to do something very soon. Mm -hmm. The Lord will grant us answers in Jesus' name. Amen. The next question. It says, yes, I will. share the grace.